General H. Norman Schwarzkopf. Norman Schwarzkopf was born in Lawrenceville, New Jersey in 1933. His father was Colonel Herbert Schwarzkopf, a West Point graduate and former superintendent of the New Jersey State Police. His mother was Ruth Bellow Schwarzkopf from West Virginia. Norman Schwarzkopf also had two sisters, Ruth Ann and Sally. In this picture, Sally is seated on the bench next to Norman, while Ruth Ann stands behind them. In this picture, we see the entire Schwarzkopf family. In 1941, Norman's father, Herbert, had to go to Iran to help send supplies to the Soviet Union in their fight against the Nazis. Norman would join him there in 1946, and they would later be joined by Ruth Ann, Sally, and Mrs. Schwarzkopf. After a couple years in Iran, Norman and his sisters went to a boarding school in Switzerland. Ruth Ann and Sally both went back to the States, but Norman say when his mother and father came to take control of, a, of an army group in West Germany. In the summer of 1952, Norman began to attend West Point Military Academy in New York. In this picture, we see Norman and his friend Leroy Sadath during a phase of West Point training called Beast Barracks. Beast Barracks was intended to weed out those considered too weak for West Point. In 1956, Norman followed in his father's footsteps by graduating from West Point and was commissioned a second lieutenant in the United States Army. He would join the 101st Airborne Infantry Division. In 1965, Norman Schwarzkopf volunteered to become a military advisor to the Army of South Vietnam in their fight against the Communist North Vietnam. In this picture, we see Norman Schwarzkopf helping a wounded Vietnamese paratrooper at a special forces base in South Vietnam called Duc Co. In this picture, we see Lieutenant Colonel Ka of the South Vietnamese Airborne. While Norman was in Vietnam, Colonel Ka was one of his good friends. In this picture, we see Norman with Colonel Trunk, the Chief of Staff of the South Vietnamese Airborne Brigade. On February 14, 1966, Norman was wounded at Bong Sun in South Vietnam. His soldiers later called it the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. After returning to the States in 1967, Norman met Brenda Holsinger from Virginia. When he met her, she was a flight attendant in New York. On July 6, 1968, Brenda and Norman were married in the West Point Chapel. In 1970, Schwarzkopf returned to Vietnam for a second tour of duty. In this picture, we see him at one of his base's operations called Firebase Dottie. In this picture, we see Norman with Colonel Joe Clemens, commander of Schwarzkopf's brigade. Joe Clemens was the hero of the Battle of Porkchop Hill during the Korean War. In this picture, Major General Malloy, the commander of the 1st Infantry Division, gives Schwarzkopf his third Silver Star. After returning from his second tour of duty in Vietnam, Schwarzkopf went to Walter Reed Hospital and stayed there for several months after back surgery. In 1975, Schwarzkopf was promoted to colonel. In this picture, we see Norman with his two daughters, Jessica and Cindy, as he cuts his promotion cake with his army saber. In 1975, Schwarzkopf went to Fort Greeley, Alaska to become the assistant brigade commander. Norman loved being in Alaska. He spent most of his free time fishing, hiking, and camping in the Alaskan wilderness. In 1977, Schwarzkopf left Fort Greeley, Alaska and went to Fort Lewis, Washington to become a brigade commander. On June 20th, 1977, Schwarzkopf's first and only son, Christian, was born at Fort Lewis, Washington. In June 1978, Norman was promoted to one-star general. In this picture, we see his wife, Brenda, and Major General Cavazos pinning on his general stars. 
In 1980, Schwarzkopf became the assistant division commander of the 8th Mechanized Division in West Germany. In this picture, we see him with Major General Hermann Vogt, one of the German generals. While in Germany, Schwarzkopf stressed to his officers the importance of taking care of the men's family and community. In this picture, we see Norman serving Thanksgiving dinner to his daughter Jessica's third grade class. In 1983, Schwarzkopf took command of the 24th Mechanized Division at Fort Stewart, Georgia. In this picture, we see Schwarzkopf with his division at the National Training Center at Fort Irwin, California in the Mojave Desert. In 1987, Norman was sent to Fort Lewis, Washington to take command of 1st Corps. In this picture, we see Norman celebrating his son Christian's 12th birthday at Fort Lewis, Washington. In 1989, Schwarzkopf was promoted to a four-star general. He then took command of Central Command, which controlled all U.S. military operations in the Middle East. In this picture, we see him inspecting a group of the K-Bar rifles from Pakistan. Also in 1989, Schwarzkopf visited another ally in the Middle East, Kuwait. In this picture, we see him in full air regalia with Major General Al Sani. In 1990, Schwarzkopf visited the United Arab Emirates. In this picture, we see him falconing with Sheikh Mohammed. In 1990, the army of Iraq invaded Kuwait and threatened to invade Saudi Arabia. The United States quickly sent soldiers to defend Saudi Arabia against Iraq. In this picture, we see Schwarzkopf with the leader of Saudi Arabia, King Fahd. In this picture, we see Schwarzkopf with Lieutenant General Prince Khalid bin Sultan Assad of Saudi Arabia. Prince Khalid was the commander of all Arab forces in Saudi Arabia during Operation Desert Shield and Desert Storm. In this picture, we see Schwarzkopf seated with the military leaders of the United States Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Syria, France, and Great Britain. In this picture, Schwarzkopf visits a command post of the 24th Mechanized Infantry Division in September 1990. In this picture, we see Schwarzkopf seated with some of the United States military commanders. Seated to the left of Schwarzkopf is General Colin Powell, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff for the United States military. In this picture, we see Schwarzkopf with the Patriot Missile Battery. Patriot missiles were used to shoot down the Iraqi Scud missiles aimed at Saudi Arabia. After successfully driving Iraqi forces out of Kuwait, Schwarzkopf was reunited with his family in Tampa, Florida. After the defeat of Iraq in Kuwait, Schwarzkopf attended many celebrations. This picture shows Schwarzkopf at a parade in New York City. After the Persian Gulf War in 1991, Schwarzkopf relinquished command of Central Command. On May 15th, 1991, Schwarzkopf returned to West Point. While there, he received a full dress review from the West Point Corps of Cadets. Later that year, Schwarzkopf received an honorary knighthood from Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom. On July 3, 1991, Schwarzkopf was presented the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President George Bush and the First Lady. In 1991, after a 35-year-long military career, Norman Schwarzkopf retired. In 1992, Schwarzkopf's autobiography, It Doesn't Take a Hero, was published by Bantam Books. This final picture shows a retired Norman Schwarzkopf with his dog.